appears to be a small replica of a steam-powered yacht, motor yacht, corset, whatever you want to call it, out on Lake Whatcom in Washington State. Done another video here of a waterfall leading into the lake. Obviously, this isn't really steam power or even coal fired, nothing coming out of the chimney there. Probably electric, very quiet, very smooth. Can't hear a thing. Of course, it's really windy as you can probably tell. Beautiful day out here on the lake, but I thought this little replica steam yacht was really cool. They use these a lot in Africa to get around Lake Victoria. And I always thought it was kind of a cool idea to think of power boats back in those late 1800s, early 1900s time period, kind of the British colonial period in Africa, I believe when they were using those. They talk a little bit about them in uh, like the book, The uh, Man Eaters of Savo, which was the uh, basis for the movie, The Ghost in the Darkness, kind of a neat colonial era hunting movie. But yeah, pretty neat seeing one of these. It'd be really fun to build something like that, even if it were electric or even gas powered. It'd be interesting to try to plumb in the some of the gas systems requirements into that, like making the boiler into a gas tank or something like that, maybe, or even having a uh, gas exhaust going out of the, the smokestack there. Kind of a, I'm sure people have done it. Probably all kinds of great videos about that on YouTube. But uh, pretty cool to see this out here, kind of a precursor to the old Chris Crafts. Beautiful day out at the lake. Just a little bit of cloud cover. This is at the end of the lake here. Got some great views looking out back across the lake. And it's just kind of dappled cloud cover along the mountains here. Really sunny, about 70 degrees, a little humid as Washington can kind of get, but nowhere near as bad as it is down in the south, at least as far as humidity goes. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty beautiful area. A lot of fun out here. With that, I'll close it out.